All right, everyone, I was going to do like a channel shout out. Actually, it's been well, almost a month since I did one, I think. Uh, but then I realized there were actually a couple of Twitter users that I wanted to shout out here. There are links in the description to their, uh, their pages there. Uh, and those are Charles Hodge and Truth Teller. Uh, and and uh, you can go there and see uh, they post various things, mostly retweeting news. They, uh, they uh, have been sending tips with regards to current events to me for a very long time. Uh, multiple tips per day usually. And so they've become a good source of information. Uh, I couldn't put a number on it because it kind of varies because I also search for my own stuff. Like I use 4chan, I see stuff there occasionally that I can report on. Sometimes I'll see something on Twitter just been RT'd at me or something. Uh, and then sometimes I search for things manually, like I'll go and I'll, I'll look up Trump and I'll go through like the latest news list, which is incre a decreasingly a good way to find news because they keep suppressing, demoting, and outright removing relevant topics if they don't like them, like Google does or these other companies that aggregate news which is why I don't use Google as an aggregating source anymore, really. It's sad because it used to be quite good. Uh, but also, uh, fan participation does matter. Like, audience participation is a, ro a wonderful thing because it makes, it, number one, in all honesty, I'm just going to come out and say it, it makes my job easier. Because I already have to make the videos, I have to do the tagging, uh, do, do the sharing, I do a lot of other work as well, you know, it's, I've got a literary career as well, it's not just the videos. Uh, <laughs> all of this other stuff I have to do, it makes my job a little bit easier if somebody has sent me relevant news, um, especially it, when they link, I always run it through archive.is or the, the Wayback Machine and then tiny URL. Um, by the way, there are some news services now that won't let you do that. Archive, uh, archive.is works better. Generally speaking, they'll ignore sites when the site tells them not to like crawl over the material. The Wayback Machine is a little bit more maybe Western and lawful. I think archive.is is a Russian service, so I'm sure that they'll get a, a smear job against them at some point for the legacy media. Oh my god, they're archiving our news sites. Oh my god, they're hosting that. Oh my god, we're not making clickbait money off of them anymore. It's decreasing our profitability, so it must be a conspiracy. You know, it's, it's evil. It's Soviets or whatever. But I just thought it was shout out time. Because uh, between these two individuals, like on an average week, I'd say that at least a couple of the topics that I'm talking about, I wouldn't have known about if not for one or both of them. And sometimes it's funny because sometimes they'll send in the same news tip. It's hilarious. Uh, it, it has to do with current events, you know, something's big in the news. Uh, it just helps me keep up with what's going on without having to manually search quite a bit more. Because otherwise that would take a lot of time out of the schedule that I could be using for live streaming, working in the garden, which people enjoy those updates, editing, doing a million other things. By the way, today I've had my fan on me the whole day, like the whole morning. It's like 90 degrees already in full humidity. It's not normal for Vermont. People down from the south don't understand that there's a difference between a hot, stagnant day in Vermont with our allergens and all of the problems that we have uh, in our nice mountainous climate and maybe a nice like flat plain like down in Florida. It is a little bit different, but you wouldn't know that because a lot of you haven't seen a hot day in Vermont. Most people that come here during leaf peeping season, they come here for foliage in like September, October, they don't see it when it's really hot, or, or you come here to ski. And so they're like, oh, I'm going to sit by the fire, hee hee, oh, it's so chilly and so uh, so scenic, Santa Claus lives here. No, Santa Claus does not live here, um, sadly. Otherwise, I'm sure he'd be cooling it down a little bit at the moment. And then he'd fuck off for the winter, he'd make it a little bit warmer. We need heat miser up in this bitch. Uh, but yes, yeah, so Charles Hodge and Truth Teller, quick shout out to them, links in, their, in the description to their Twitter pages. Uh, you can follow along with the material that they put there. I think it's I think it's mostly news aggregation more than anything else, actually. So uh, they're providing a good service for people. That's about all. Peace out.